see what this marsh is going to have in store for us today. It's brand new. Nick found what I believe is going to be one gem of a spot to fish. I don't know how he did it, but with the power of Google, you too can find places like this. Beautiful sunrise. Let's uh, reach behind us. Oh, that was oyster. And we're starting things off with the down south lures, the paddle tail, chicken on the chain, chicken of the chain. I don't know what it's honestly called. I got to get the package, but regardless, for you down south lure guys, uh, for those of y'all that know what this is called, you know what it's called. It's something like that. Chicken of the chain, chicken on the chain, paddle tail. Let's, uh, let's do this. lake fishing well we're trying to fish <laughs> uh, I've seen a lot of blow-ups but it's reminiscent of the last marsh that we went into you don't know if it's reds or not I did see a crawler inside one of the little back ponds earlier today but nothing that screams redfish so keeping these crossed and uh, hoping that the gators don't play a factor in our fishing like and what I mean by that is I hate them. Uh, I'm always worried about them because they're ambush predators and it's the ones that you don't see. So when you do see a little baby, well, it's somewhere around there's a mama. Oh, we just missed him. Like seriously, he was right there. How did, I don't understand how he didn't go for it. That was my perfect shot. Like I literally spooked him with the lure instead of him pouncing on it. I don't get it. This is what I'm doing. I gotta take it off. I've already spooked a few fish and I don't, I don't know if it's because they're skittish, it's because the lure, it's certainly gonna be because of the fish. I don't think this lure is actually gonna spook them because any paddle tail would probably have spooked them. So I'm gonna give it the benefit of doubt, but Whenever the fish are super skittish, I've got to abandon my torture test of these lures and continue it whenever the fish are in a more biting mood. Well, that's good that you actually saw them. I haven't seen one yet. I put eyes on several gar already. I'm waiting to see a red. I got hit once, but he spit it. I spooked something. So I'm putting on a curl tail, man. I've, I've tried casting on all of that and nothing. Okay, everybody, making a switch again. Here we go. I'm gonna put the bugs away because we're bringing up grass. We're gonna go to a paddle tail again because I tore off the, uh, what do you call it, paddle tail? Uh, down south fella. Yep, I tore that off. So we're switching over to the bio bait. Let's see how this guy fares on the torture test. Uh oh got you please don't be a gar that looks like a gar no it's a red yeah oh my god that is a party foul if i lose this guy i'm gonna count because he went in and out of the net he literally oh my gosh get over here buddy Oh, Ooh, wow. Talk about a thump out of nowhere on the bio bait. That's number one for the bio bait. I had to take off the down south lure because I just, I was spooking like three fish. And after that, I'm like, that's it. I'm taking it off. It's not because the bio bait didn't work. I mean, the bio bait, the down south didn't work. It's, I just didn't have the confidence yet. So this paddle tail's a lot bigger, pushes more water. Look at that. Bio bait right there. Beautiful redfish, got a lesion right there on the left side. But that is a beautiful redfish mid slot. That's what we're working with. Not gonna get off the perfect hook set. Let's get this hook out, get the pliers. Well, that wasn't the prettiest release, but uh, we got it done. 
<laughs> I wanted to do something more graceful, but that guy had enough of me. Here we go. Number one for the bio bait. I think this guy is probably going to outfish everything to include my hoagies whenever I get around to the hoagies. These things, these things are just like they, they're built to, uh, to withstand the, uh, freaking nuclear blast. There you are. Sexy Shad bio bait. Gets the first red of the day. Yes! Uh-oh. Got him. Oh. Look at that. Oh my god, just like that. A day can go from like not to hot. Get over here. That is keeper number two right there. Oh, look at that. We're going to throw him on the the hog trough just to make sure um, he's probably gonna barely squeak by oh yes the bio bait getting it done seriously nothing nothing else we, ah well he cut me did he cut me you turd Get back up here my gosh bro I'm looking for yeah he cut me on that bio bait Number two. We're gonna measure them just in case though. I wanna make sure. Because if I can catch a limit, that's gonna be awesome. I haven't done that in a long time. Here we go. Let's rest you down. Oh, look at that, 20 inches. <laughs> With one millimeter to spare. Oh, my little friend. I am so happy. Thank you. You get out of here. Go get big freaking prison redfish shanking me. So after I catch one more red with this thing, I'm going to switch back over to the down south. And maybe it's because of the fish oil that's in this thing that is turning the bite on for us. Oh, oh, oh. There was a wake coming after my lure. Oh, we got him. That is a gar. That's got to be a gar. I think that's a gar. Is it? I can't tell. No, it's a red. Yes, third and final red. Whew, I saw a wake come after it earlier. And I was like, let's just keep passing. Maybe he'll come back after it. Yes. And I am all that is man. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, we got a limit. We got a limit. Thank you, Mr. Redfish. Just in the nick of time. The rain is coming down. We're going to have to put the mic away. But this guy, he makes a limit. Okay, come on now. You're going to get PETA called on me. All right. There we go. Look at that. Bio bait getting it done. That's the sexy shad right there. Holy cow. It's like flipping a light switch since we went with the bio bait. Three fish in less than an hour. Oh my gosh. So awesome. What are we working with? 21 and a half inch redfish right there. Beautiful little fella. Thank you so much for biting. Oh, wow. Ladies and gents, y'all do not know how long it's been. Well, y'all probably do. For those of you that are my hardcore audience, y'all know it's been forever since I've been able to catch a limit of red. So I feel accomplished today. Despite all the odds of not being able to catch anything, I've thrown the down south lure for the entire morning up until now, like 45 minutes ago, and it is working wonderfully. I don't even want to put it away because we're on a roll. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, man. Oh, nice. 
Is it one? Yeah. Okay, take it easy. Oh, take it easy. It's trying to keep attention. Well, yeah, but when, when the drag engages, don't... Yeah, the jag engages... Oh, my drag's so loose, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but you don't, you don't want to get... You don't want to get line twist. Christian's hooked onto one, it's and he's... He's using the, oh my God, it's the bio bait? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta say that, that bio bait's what helped us. Christian's got a little chicken on the line, but he's doing it on a, a light action rod. I don't know, that looks like a keeper. That's barely gonna make it, son. That's a keeper. Yeah, that's barely gonna make it. Catching him on this rod of so it's like I'm sketched to catch fish in the kayak now because of that rod break. Honestly, my heart is racing right there. Well, all you got to do is just keep that drag set perfectly and you won't break no You're more rods. Reporting. All right, true to my word, it is 11.05. Look at that right there. And we are back at the launch getting out of here. Spectacular day of fishing when you can catch a limit and go home. Not a traditional like keeping a limit, but you guys get the idea. I caught three keepers. If I would have kept them, that is a limit. I hope you all enjoyed it because I enjoyed catching those guys. And they were all on the bio baits. We were uh, all throwing different style paddle tails and nothing was working. Switched over to the bio baits after Christian was able to hook into like three fish. One broke his rod. If you want to see that buffoonery, go over to his channel. He just got a new GoPro. He's filming now and uh, you'll be able to see what happened to him on his channel. But I am ecstatic because I have yet to catch a limit in a long time. All right, everyone, I want to thank y'all for watching. I really appreciate it. I know that there are a lot of fishing channels out there and the fact that you chose to watch mine and made it this far into the video means the world to me. Thank you for that love and support. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Also, my son's channel is going to be linked in the description down below. So if you enjoy my type of content and want to see it just from a different perspective, from a different angler, but kind of the same, hop on over to his channel. I think you're going to enjoy it. All right, until next time, tight lines, y'all.